Fio just released their M11 Plus LTD music player. It is expensive, to be honest. This is a flagship level DAP. It is coming with the AK4497 uh, DAC chip in it. So this is a very high-end DAC chip. You know, currently the, the AK brand really went out of business because of their, I think their factory got burned down. That was last year. So they've been trying to rebuild and uh, it's uh, been a problem getting this DAC chip out from the brand. The Snapdragon in here is is the 660. It's, it's, it's really snappy. So this will be one of the most snappiest players out there so you will mostly enjoy this for music playing overall in terms of uh the DAC, like i said is the ak4497 it's uh it's it's really powerful like it has two of those DAC chip in the in the on in the in the DAC. if the screen is 5.5 inch it's um it's uh, expert ratio is good now in the connection port you get 3.5 millimeter jack and 2.5 millimeter balance jack also you have a 4.4 millimeter balance jack as well so if that is what you want to uh, use is made available for you uh this is a very expensive dap you will be paying almost 700 dollars for this there are discounts if you use the link in the description. The thing here is that this DAP is just a slight upgrade to the regular M11 Pro that is still, I think, Fio's best-selling DAP, if I'm not mistaken. But that particular DAP sold very well considering the price that uh, Fio charged for it. Um, and uh, this one will be a success. The RAM in it is 4 gigs of RAM so it's powerful enough uh internal storage is 64 gigabytes it supports bluetooth and the bluetooth it supports is uh it's it, it, it's it's it, at least it supports every wireless codec that you're you you can find out there ldac ac aptx everything is there so honestly i, I would say this is a wonderful that uh this is a wonderful new release uh but you know the thing here is that it, most people would uh still look for something that is a little bit portable that they can use the reason dabs are not selling so well like it should be is because of their portability um the fact that most people have smartphones so smartphones really uh put a a damper on this but we'll see what happens i will leave links to this in the description uh so you check it out if that is what uh, you want to do um th this is definitely uh very powerful enough to to last you almost a day if, if you charge it up uh it takes three hours to charge it up and it will last you for 11.5 hours has a 6,000 milliamps inside there. Uh, on standby, it can last 41 days. It's fast charging. It takes three hours to fully charge it. I think this is a very good uh, release, to be honest. I don't think uh, uh, most people would uh, demand for more, to be honest. Now, in terms of power output, which most people would be interested in, uh, in if you use the balanced output, sorry if you use the single ended outputs it is going to give you 206 milliwatts which is very more than powerful enough to at least run anything you have uh if you run any it would balanced output it will give you 588 milliwatts which is wonderful to be honest uh it is really really wonderful um so power is uh it's not a st it's not a problem for it it should uh, be able to give you a lot of uh, power uh, that uh, you would uh, need uh, honestly and it's running android 10 which is much more an upgrade to the m11 pro that was running android 7 so this is a, a better dap overall uh, honestly and it supports apple music uh it's it's really a a, a real flagship dap 
at least for the price so just do check it out uh, i will leave um, the link in the description if you want to check that out uh, do subscribe to our channel do like our content do follow us on social media i'm going to uh, see you guys next time